Okay, this is my Power Pressure Cooker XL. And um, I'm going to demonstrate how to put this top on this cooker. So the top of the cooker is right there. Here's the pot. You see this caution sign is in front. The little um, spigot thingy is in back. That's the pressure thing where you release the pressure to open the pot. Okay, so I'm going to place, see the front of the pot? I'm going to turn this to the left just slightly. This is normally how it is. Turn it just slightly, put it down, and turn it. Turn it. See it clicks? That's closed. That's open. It can't go anywhere else. Okay. So you turn it there slightly. Lift it. Right there. That's how it goes. All right. Slight turn. Slight turn. Right there. Okay. There you go. And then once you do that, you want to make sure you turn this little knob to that line those arrows up. Right there, you line these arrows up. And then um, the little thing here starts spinning. The little numbers, it's just going to start spinning while it's building up pressure. Okay, you want to make sure these arrows are lined up. And then when the pressure is built up, it's going to lock. You won't be able to open it at all. It's going to lock and then you see a time right here. Okay. When it finishes cooking, there's a timer on it. It'll beep. Beep. Okay. Once that happens, you come to the spigot here and you turn it like this. This little popcorn looking thing, which is steam. You line that up with the arrow and then all the steam is going to come out right here right out of the top here so be careful of where you have your pot you know you don't really want it underneath a cabinet or something you know you want it to be in a space where steam can be released and so you're gonna do that and once the steam stops coming out you'll be able to open the pot again okay as long as this, the, um, the power the pressure is built up inside you will not be able to unlock the pot alright hope this helps call me if you have any questions